Okay, welcome to another in our series of MCQ revision questions. Uh, this one is on macroeconomics and it's on a quirky little topic, quite important. Uh, this is the concept of automatic stabilizers. Here's the question. Which combination of changes will be most likely to strengthen, to increase the operation of automatic stabilizers? Changes in income tax rates, changes in unemployment benefit. Have a go, press the pause button, have a go at the question. I'll be right back in a few seconds with the answer and uh, the explanation. Okay, so which combination of changes will be most likely to strengthen, in other words, make the, make the automatic stabilizers more effective? And the right answer to this question is D, higher income tax rates and higher unemployment benefit rates. There was an increase in the progressivity of the income tax system and an increase in the generosity of the unemployment benefit system is likely to have the biggest impact. Let's work through a bit of revision here. So automatic stabilizers are fiscal changes that tend to happen automatically um, as an economy moves through, goes through different stages of the economic cycle or the business cycle. So for example, if an economy goes into a recession, unemployment falling, real incomes uh, contracting, then the government takes out of the circular flow less in the form of tax and that helps to stabilise demand. Equally, during a downturn or during a recession, the government is injecting more welfare into the economy. And again, that helps to stabilise demand, money in people's pockets, and also helps to stabilise confidence. So working through the answer, uh, when income tax rates are higher, uh, that means the government during a boom will be taking more tax revenue out of the economy because people's real incomes and are rising and there are more, more people in work. So during a boom, higher income tax rate takes more money out of the economy. That helps to, if you like, moderate the extent or the scale of a boom. Uh, equally, um, if the government's spending more on welfare and on unemployment benefits, that means that uh, people's out-of-work incomes, unemployment assistance, for example, will be more generous. So the government will be spending more on unemployment benefits. So if people lose their jobs, the government will be acting to replace a greater percentage of the lost income if people lose their job in a recession. And again, higher unemployment benefits will help to stabilise demand during a downturn, a downspin in the economy. So there we go, a question on automatic stabilisers.